Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Brothers and sisters, let uh, me speak in English because uh, my bahasa Indonesia tidak terlalu bagus ya <laughs> Mashrul Muslimin Rahimahumullah Ramadan is usually called uh, as uh, Shahrul Quran This is a month of the revelation of Quran. This is a month when the Quran was revealed for the first time to Rasulullah Muhammad Brothers and sisters, therefore Ramadan is the right time for us to interact with the Quran more intensively. Ramadan is the right time for us to engage with the Quran more intensively. Mashur al-Muslimin rahimahumullah. It is the fact that life is often noisy and full of distraction. Concern and problems flood our minds. Problems of family, problems of job, problems of children sometimes problem of wife, problem of husband, wife can be plural, right? There is always so much to do, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. However, Allah wants the very best for us, but we just have to know how to recognize it and lay hold of it. Brothers and sisters, if we've ever said to ourselves, I don't have time to think, then we know how hard it is to concentrate when we are bombarded from all sides. A lot of problems attack us from time to time. It's even harder to focus on Allah when we can't take time to renew our minds, to refresh our spirit by quiet reflection. In fact, Allah does not often shout to get our attention, brothers and sisters. Instead, usually speak to us in a still and small voice through his verses. The messages in the Quran are sometimes in the form of semiotics. You know semiotic? The messages in the Quran is sometimes in the form of signs. The word ayah, ayat itself reflects the meaning of sign. So we are required to do Ibra, in which we try to understand the meaning behind the signs behind the semiotic. Mashur al-Muslimin rahimahumullah. It was indeed a contemplation that made Rasulullah cry when he internalized the verse inna fi khulqi samawati wa ikhtilafi layli wa nahari la ayati li ulil albab in the creation of heaven and earth and the alternation of night and day there are signs for those who think. The creation of the heaven and earth has very important purpose. And this is internalized by Rasulullah. This made Rasulullah got into tears. Ma'ashur al-Muslimin, rahimahumullah. Like Rasulullah, we have to put ourselves in opposition to hear Allah's voice. We have to make our time in our daily lives to get quiet. 
the key to renewing our mind and spirit and to develop the habit and discipline of contemplating on the words of Allah then is very important. It is of crucial important. Mashrul Muslimin Rahimakumullah. Contemplation means intensive engagement with the verses of Quran, reading them as well as reading the tafsir of Quran, trying to internalize their meaning, visualizing them and letting the meaning of them sink deep down into our heart. Contemplation is a spiritual practice that is encouraged throughout the Quran. Brothers and sisters, contemplating the verses of Quran can mean treating Quran as a mirror. You know mirror? Sometimes if you take a look at the mirror, it reflects back to us. So when we read Quran, sometimes Quran can be sort of mirror. Sometimes we took a look, take, take a look at it. Sometimes our faces look ugly. Sometimes our faces are full of dirt. Sometimes our faces are full of scratches. The key to draw Allah's wisdom found in the Quran is to acknowledge that our faces are ugly, dirty, and full of scratches. When we read, Inna shalata tanha alil fasha'i wal munkar But at the same time, we do shalat, but at the same time, we do something munkar. So it's reflect back to ourselves. When we read, Ya ayuhal ladina amanu ku anfusakum wa ahlikum naro. And we become realized that as an imam, as father and family, we don't teach our children with Islam. We haven't brought up our children with the values of Quran. Ma'asura al-Muslimin rahimakumullah. But Quran is not only a mirror. It also provides solution to problems in our life. If you are sad, worried about the past time, unsure about the present time, and bewildered, will disturb by our future. The Quran advises, When we find it difficult to share our shodako, when we find it difficult to resist anger, Quran advises that we cannot go to paradise unless we can share shodako and resist anger. In fact, brothers and sisters, Quran provides us with the best practices in our life. It is then our responsibility to materialize the teaching of the Quran in our life. In fact, the Quran is filled with the blessings and benefit of meditating on its principles. Contemplating on Allah's words will give us spiritual success. Contemplating on Allah's words will help us keep our heart right before Him, before Allah. Contemplating on Allah's words will give us insight and wisdom that will guide us at every turn in our life. Contemplating on Allah's words will help us fill our mind with the blessing of Allah. Finally, brothers and sisters, be encouraged today. <coughs> Let us engage with the Quran more intensively. Hold the Quran and internalize deep in our heart. This is my Quran. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. And we have to confess that our mind is alert and our heart is receptive. Be sure, inshallah.
inshallah, our life will be filled with more joy, peace, encouragement, healing, restoration, and hope. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.